just like a hummingbird when she touches the sky and you've got nowhere and you don't know just why you're a child of the river coming home tonight sweet doesn't match your sound. <gasps> Excuse me? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Complete tonal disconnect. Gives me anxiety. Oh, sorry. That, that was... I'm, I'm usually much more serious. I play folk music. You look like you do. I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. My first show. Uh-huh. But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards. My mind wanders away. Where to? The unfathomable depths of space. You seem a little lost, kid. Which is good. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. Wouldn't you agree? Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Excellent. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. I'm going to commit a crime. Okay. I'll do it. I knew you would. Dope. Kids come here to hang out. At least they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso.
this come from? After party. For your show. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. The skiffle band is playing. They're quite forceful with their opinions on skiffle. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. Oh. Stop! No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? That's nonsense. Hey! When it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Play. No, not that one. Play again. than the first one. Bonanza. That's it. What are you taking? Nothing. Valves. Later. Wait. Is this Rami's stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. Punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. I never signed off on the flyers. You ever made it to the top? Been too scared to try. kill yourself from up here. You shred pretty well for a folk singer. Thanks. So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am. Where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Someone else entirely. Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen. Well, I'd rather not think about it. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole thing.
It's a place tied in the back of your mind It's a soft just like a hummingbird when she touches the sky And you've got nowhere And you don't know just why You're a child of the river coming home tonight Sweet rose of pines Lost in your wind tonight Will you run, baby, run, baby Far from home Where the banks of the rivers Are lined in gold Francis, you little bastard, come to me, my love. Goldie, you lose it? Oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. Got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. You'll believe it's 1955. You look like him, you know. Your uncle. I know, Goldie. I really do. I think this place used to be a watchmaker, undeniably haunted, possible hub of underage drinking. Ah, yeah! Man of the hour! Hey, Tao. Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. You listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? Yeah, can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. You gotta let it happen, man. Play blues, play funk, blow minds. Yeah, sure. Let's see what I can do. You ever heard of Lightman's? Hmm? Junk sci-fi movie. It's not a movie, it's a place. <laughs> it ain't in this dead end. I'll catch you later, Tal. Calypso is usually much quieter. It's it quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. Finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. That's me. Avoiding me, son? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You... I have no idea. I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling so much when I... S you will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Or you will misplace teeth. Well then, I suppose we have an accord. And they 
make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? Cafe Cliché. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. What have you come as? Zombie Vendetti. That is in poor taste. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. I saw the Flyers free show, man. I probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. Plant and page, expensive books, minimal security. Cassandra, you're leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that, I'm leaving. Cassandra, I'm devastated. You're just the only shop I bother to steal from. Lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi dribble. Just how you dig it. Well, aren't you gonna thank me? Sorry, I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. <laughs> hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you wanna be... <clears throat> Actually, no, never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along, go practice. I never recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travelers. Um, uh, hello? Francis Vendetti, the pleasure's all mine. Swartz here. How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibrations. Ready for the big show? Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. 
What with businesses closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption. Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. You can put them right out of your head. Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow. Okay. Don't cock it up. Hey, Lucy. Uh, I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation, or whatever. 12 million copies sold. Okay, yeah. Lucy, you got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. You got Captain Beefheart, legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Loop the Drifter. Hank Williams, really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. You coming to the show? I'll go to the show. I'm not going to the after party. You don't like the Skiffle Band? They're like Jimmy Page started in Skiffle. Yeah, everyone loves Jimmy for his Skiffle. <laughs> exactly. You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? Mm, no. You want me to check out back? Nah, got a feeling you won't find it. Thanks, Lucy. My place. Childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. It's a shrine. And a tomb. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? Uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Buckaroo? Uh-huh. You don't seem yourself. Don't seem myself? I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Okay. Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. The boy you loved may already be gone. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, Mom says. From the beginning, until the end. No one asks me about my dad much.
I step on stage, not as myself, but as someone else entirely. Could the radio intercept intergalactic transmissions? Would people believe an alien could play music? away from the infinite. On the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension. The universe in all its grandeur, its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away. The stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet. <laughs> 